the South Dakota State gemstone is the Fairburn agate. The evolution story of the agate was, uh, you know, millions of years ago. This was an inland sea. Over the years, the flora and fauna settled down into the bottom of this sea and eventually created this huge, thick limestone layer that had voids and pockets within it. Uh, there was a lot of heat and pressure and gas, uh, high silica content within uh, that would permeate throughout the rocks. The agates would form from the outside to the center and uh, they would keep forming as long as they didn't have any exposure to the open air. But about uh, 50 million years ago or so, when the Black Hills uplifted, they pushed up through this layer of, of uh, limestone and exposed this formation and fractured it into billions of pieces. Over eons, they tumbled out across the prairie and they gained this natural patina known as the, the Badlands patina that makes it a real sought after collector's item. Actually got a deeper meaning to the Lakota community. Uh, the agate relates back to the Lakota creation story and uh, an entity known as Ina, who was one of the Great Spirit's first creations. And Ina gave all of himself to create, create all of us and, and everything there is. For instance, he shed his blood, became our water, and his skin became our planets and stars. Uh, he did all this for companionship. To me, the agate still kind of holds Ia's spirit. Unique geometric design with its perfect imperfections. And to me, it's kind of like Ia's voice coming and reminding us of where we come from and our relationship. So in my artwork, uh, I use this natural pattern to do depictions of animals and landscapes and different significant objects and symbols to, um, you know, just to honor the Lakota and to help us remember Ia and his message.